Hello everybody, welcome to my NAF rules ladder video. Uh, this is for season one. I'll, I can make a new one each uh, each season when the different rules come out, I guess. But uh, this is this is also going to let you know, just tell you what it's about. So I mean, it's very simple. It's a way to play NAF rules games on Blood Bowl three. Uh, you know, against random people or versus whoever happens to be around. They, you know, of course, you could have a friendly with somebody, but this lets you play on a ladder against uh, against lots of people and there's already 200 people in the discord at the time of making the video and uh, I'll put the link in the description and that takes you straight to the discord here there's a you know there's a welcome page um, and then there's the getting started it tells you all about you know passwords and stuff um, instructions on how to do it links to videos and uh, yep yeah, also the rules pack there so it's got all sorts of stuff, you know, all different channels, all all interesting things. Essentially, when you look for a game, you add coach available. Oh, so you can get the role here, reaction roles. You can get active coach or coach available. And then you can ping coach available. And, you know, if somebody's around, they'll spin. You'll spin into them. You get a game. There's a great thing here from Galentio that has, the, uh, that has all the results on there. Um, it's all... It's all uh, Coach Morg who's done it all. He's uh, it's his server. He's running it, and I'm very happy that <laughs> that I'm not actually doing any work for this. But you know, of course, I want to promote it. I think it's a great a great way to play the game. Um, so yeah, that is that is the overview there. Okay, so this is the rules pack and season one, and it tells you basically what a NAFS team is. Right, it's a custom team. About 1150 is standard for tabletop. And a skill package where you just you know select skills and allocate them to players, um, six plus normally, and uh, there's different tiers, so that you know try and make it a bit fairer. And each match is just a standalone match. There's no injuries carry over. There's no progression or anything. You know, resurrection is the name for it. So, yeah, you, you've got a draft budget based on your team tier, and you've got to spend it on players. Normally in tabletop style. You can have star players and inducements. Unfortunately, we are limited by the client in Blood Bowl 3. So, you know, that that is a shame for like Black Orcs, for example, who really want the bribes and Underworld. So yeah, Resurrection, no injuries stay. So you get skill points. So this is actually the Euro Bowl rules um, that's coming up soon in real life, about a month's time. So you get skill points but secondaries cost an extra one. So for a tier one team, you can get six normal skills, or you could have, well, primary skills, isn't it? Or you could have four primary skills and one secondary skill. So um, in Euroball, there are packages. And unfortunately, there aren't, because to make this easier for Coach Morg to run, we're not having the different packages. I think that's completely completely reasonable and yeah each player can only have one skill that's pretty normal for tabletop style and uh yep yeah, there you go they, they don't nspps there's the different tiers of course what leaps out at me is orcs being in tier two and necromantic being in tier three i think they're both a little bit missed tiers but again this is just going from purely from euroball you know I, I'll be honest. I am an admin on this, and we, we you know, we discussed it a bit. But you know, it, it's all Coach Morgs. Um, you know, Coach Morgs the one running it, and people are helping and stuff. But um, we talked a little bit and figured, you know, start with Euro Bowl without packages, and then each season could be different, right? Like if there's a big tabletop tournament coming up, like UKTC, say we could have UKTC rules, things like that. If there's a big tournament coming up on online on you know maybe fumble or blood ball three we could have rules like that so there's a lot of possibilities there the important thing is the uh, client constraints and the admin resources available um yeah th this is an important thing because of the tiering you're not allowed to buy inducements this is very important if you sign up to this because <laughs> of course you don't want to you know like black orcs giving away loads of inducements when they play Dark Elves, that would be ridiculous and, and spoil the whole thing. The idea is that the bad teams get a boost to make the teams fair. And uh, yes, press stuff have been disabled because that would obviously be very annoying indeed. So there you go, there's the, there's the rules, quite simple. 
Okay, and that, let's make a team. Uh, might as well show you how to do that in case you're unsure. You create a team. Let's go for the most simple and classic tabletop team you can build, which is Lizardmen. So you just have to click custom team here when you create a team. And you've got infinite money and you've got lots of skills you can give out as well. So there we go, 1150. That works out perfectly. So you know, that's important to whatever your tier is, you spend the correct amount. <laughs> but this, you know, Lizardmen are the easiest one to build, essentially. So there you go, there's your 11.50 team, done. And they are tier ones, they get six skills. And the absolute classic that every single person who does in tabletop, pretty much, unless they're taking a Kixaurus, most people are going down the six block route. And you can't go wrong with this. So yeah, you know, you can pick primaries, secondaries, you can pick any skill in the client. So I guess I could have picked something <laughs> maybe a little bit more interesting than this, but I just thought at least I'd know how to build this team. Um, yeah, so there you go anyway. So, you know, you've just got to follow the rules in the pack. The rules are in the pack there. It's very simple. The password to join the lead, league is also in there as well, because, you know, we don't want uh, random people who aren't here to play NAF in the league. That makes complete sense, doesn't it? So there you go. That's your typical NAF style lizard man team. Obviously, lizard's quite good in this format because they just get block guaranteed. Um, that's not something that they get in leagues very easily. So, yeah, and then you could just register in the competition here. You can search for NAF Ladder. And there we go, NAF Ladder Season 1. This is the one that we're in. And you can probably, the registers may be here if you're not already in the league, but if you are, you can just go My Registered Teams, register a new team. And is this, is this in alphabetical order? This is a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'd seen there's some kind of random order anyway there you go and you know it'll ask you for your password at some point here um, I'm, I'm an admin so it doesn't have to and yep you know he's got here password to be joined rules pack discord it's all there you know it's it's all very simple actually but um, you know people have been asking me about the league so I thought I'll make this this video and then that explains everything and yeah you can just you can just search for an opponent here and, and you know put that you're spinning in the discord it's pretty simple and you know it's it's just you know easy to get NAF games online I think that's a great thing I'm really happy about the opportunity to do this so big thanks for Coach Morg I'm going to be playing a bunch of these games on my Twitch and on stream and you know you can vet you can kind of like organize right if you know somebody you can just be like hey buddy let's just both spin at the same time if you can, like, you know, I've done a few of those with Dimmy already and uh, it's just great you know great practice for tabletop events and stuff and y you lose out on the progression aspect you know the progression aspect of Blood Bowl is something you know it's a something most people enjoy it's a big draw of the game and, uh, you know, there is there is a certain blandness in not having that, but also it's great that every game is even, you know, uh, to an extent. You're getting the fairest games possible, and you can just go all out for the win. You don't have to think about, you know, protecting players, or you'll win, but your favourite player dies. None of that happens. It's just, you know, it's out there, competitive Blood Bowl. This is basically the way to play competitive Blood Bowl. As much as the ladder, you know, I don't think anyone's going to care too much about their standing on the ladder. But, you know, it's, it's just a good way to have good competitive games on Blood Bowl 3, which I think is fantastic. And, you know, you can always play the ladder as well. I'll still carry on doing some, some content on the ladder as well, like the, the official ladder. Um, but you get, you know, you get full blood, blood blood pass progression by playing in this. So, yeah, I think this is going to be my main way to play Blood Bowl 3 going forward. But I will still do, you know, the content things. I, I, I've, I've got an idea to, you know, just do a few games with each race, do the race guides and that. I'm going to be on that like a car bonnet soon. So there you go. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for all new videos. I've I've been happy for a week, and the sky's the limit now. So there you go. Looking forward to getting back into the 
not even back into the game, properly into the game for the first time ever. So there you go. Right, thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.